Hello everyone, this is Pete, also known as Snaldo, here to give you guys a little bit of information about this, this game called Godhood. It is from Abbey Games, which is a Dutch studio. Um, the, the game is about a civilization who is worshipping a god, and the civilization, you play as the god, essentially, and you're taking over more cities and other areas to get followers to make your your followers and your religion if you will better than everybody else's religion now when you start the game you pick between different types of virtues uh, i decided to pick the war one uh, but they also had a uh, a type of virtue that allowed you to convert them over to your side you had another one through love you had another uh and then you had three others and i wanted to pick the the violent one the, the hate one if you will or the war one that's what it's called war because i wanted to see how the combat ended up being and the combat was very very interesting now that brings me into the type of gameplay that this game is the gameplay for it is you had your own town and in that town you end up placing different monuments and you end up placing all of the different things that your followers are going to need now you start with one uh, i guess stronger follower uh that ends up being one of your warriors and that one warrior ends up then recruiting other warriors and then those other warriors are then trained through different types of offerings and different types of uh, combat to to make them grow now what i ended up learning through this is that i went from one uh town to another town with my with my um my followers and having them grow stronger and get the, this xp called morale once that morale uh, level was full you ended up then allowing them to get more specialized skills for instance you were able to get a uh, you know plus one to might or plus one to 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 courage and plus one to um, entangle and things like that that allowed you to change the 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 way that that person's path was going to make them stronger now the they had multiple different class roles within that and that's where your your virtues from the beginning take place now if you wanted to do everything as the war you wanted to pick more of the violent characters if you wanted to pick more of the um convert uh classes you pick the more convert classes to change everybody over so what I ended up doing was, as, as my playthrough is, I ended up picking different types of classes just because I wanted to see how they, they played. And when you ended up getting those characters stronger, you ended up learning that some ended up um, making others stronger. For instance, the shield guy that you ended up picking, uh, the, the ended up being like a guardian class, would end up blocking for weaker classes. And then you would end up having the druid class which would then end up buffing the the, the shield class and, and you end up going back and forth and it was this very weird dynamic from uh class to class and it made the game very very unique now what was very surprising was i i remember playing this game called black and white back in uh the the early 2000 late you know 1990s and it i thought it was going to be based on the same thing you had a religion you ended up bringing your followers and your worshipers and all of that and you ended up producing a group and then you'd go and then you'd you know attack uh, a town that's what i thought this was going to be and i was clearly mistaken so when i ended up taking the the this village is over when i was going through little by little it ended up just my god's like image appearing on each of the uh each of the of the, the villages and i mean there really wasn't much to it except it took me a little bit of time to you know make sure that my guys were rested and and make sure that um their their offerings were right and, ma and make sure all of these things were done correctly now after those things were done 
after I was able to do that, um, I actually got a notification that one of my characters were too old. And then I looked and I realized that each of them had an age also involved. And once they hit a certain age, they ended up becoming weaker. And then I ended up kind of looking more into it and then I realized, oh, not only do they have an age, they have a, a, like a faith bar and your faith bar ended up making your character even stronger too, being able to hit uh, early on uh, like combat quicker or slower. And it was kind of interesting. Now the graphics of this game was actually very good. They were very, very much um, 2D for the most part. But once you would go into that combat, it, it was almost like a 3D type look. And, and I really liked it. I thought it was good. Now, for me wanting to replay it, uh, I had a problem getting off of it. I, I really wanted to keep playing and keep finishing. I was able to complete the first island, and I was about to go to the second island, and I tried and got destroyed. And you'll see that in the video. I'm going to make sure I put that in so you guys can see it. It's not an easy game. And that's what made me kind of think about it i was like wait a minute uh, this isn't just an easy just roll through type game because in the beginning once i realized how the classes worked and realizing that uh one element would you know make another element weaker like life would attack uh darkness and um there were so many there was about six or seven and it almost felt like pokemon with how many different types of elements you had to you know know what was going on and i made sure that i kind of used them to see how they worked and it was pretty cool it worked out really well uh the the end result of the of the first map i, I wasn't 100 percent positive on but the the villages when i completed the like when i com took over the villages i got followers i got worshipers but some of them ended up also having buffs that allowed you to get increased to might or increase to um faith or increased to characters coming in and after you complete some of them you could even get relics which would end up boosting your characters so it would make that their might stronger or their uh, f like when they would rest in town, uh, more followers and things like that, which was which was very interesting. Uh, I would definitely recommend this game to people that wanted to just take a game that they want to play and just shut off their brains and go. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. It wasn't what I was expecting, and I think that was a good thing because I ended up just enjoying the... The environments which were really neat the, the the placement of your village which you were able to get a monastery you put it here you get uh, a farm you put it here you get a um what was the other one the, the hen house you put it there you'd be able to place them all over and then you'd end up using those like i said before to, to increase your your characters which was very neat so um there you also had you also created your own god's look in the beginning which I wasn't expecting it was kind of cool the bars moved back and forth you picked up colors it was great it was, it was, it was fun so uh i would like to thank uh abby games once again for this uh this key uh it, it like i said this game was great uh you know if you want to pick it up it's definitely one of those you know go out and get it relax chill and have, have a fun evening so once again this is uh pete also known as Snaldo, uh here for the uh, iron lords podcast uh, stream team um we have our podcast on Sundays at 1 p.m., so come on, check us out. Thank you very much, and have a uh, fantastic night. Bye, everybody.